Alright, hi everyone and welcome to this video on a MongoDB tutorial. In this tutorial, we will specifically tackle the update of MongoDB data. So we will learn how to update different data, how to set different values, and we'll cover everything in a minute. Just a quick note before that, this video can be considered as one of two things. It could be either an independent video, which you're here to learn because you want to learn how to use the update in MongoDB, or it can be part of a playlist. So I have this playlist going on and it has all the MongoDB basics starting from zero. So you can go to the first video where I would explain the different structures of MongoDB and data types. And then the next one, we create our first database and collection, and then we learn how to insert data. So we've done insert, now is the time to do update. In the next video, we will cover deletions, and then you will have a series of videos on the different and complex and powerful MongoDB queries that you can do. All right, so without further ado, this is MongoDB Compass in front of me. So if you're familiar with MongoDB, you know what Compass is. It's sort of the GUI that you have on your machine to, be, to access your MongoDB data. So I can go to my um, a previous connection, which is uh, to my local host. Okay, so I can see here the different databases within my local host. So I'm just going to select my database and then I'm going to go for products. So this is the sample database inside. Uh, this is the sample collection actually inside our database that we will be using for today's tutorial. So if you're not familiar with MongoDB, like I said, this is the GUI part, but you cannot write MongoDB commands here and expect them to work. So if you want to write typical and like syntactically correct MongoDB syntax and not just manually update data, like I can just do this and change this here. So you have to use Mongo shell. So Mongo shell is the command line client for MongoDB. If you want more details about these two different MongoDB products, you can refer to that old video I mentioned, the first one in the playlist, and you can understand exactly what's going on here and how they're connected. So I want to use my database. So that's what we selected, right? So I'm just going to use my database. And now I'm inside my database. And then I want to just, you know, like get a feel of the data. So I just want to db.product.find.pretty. So as you may or may not know, this is what would return the JSON or the pretty format of our data. So this is the exact same data that I have in front of me right here. I just thought I'd include that. Okay, so now we want to learn how to use this command, command line to update data and to change data because we already learned how to insert it. So let's, do, let's get started. Okay, so essentially in MongoDB, there are two different update functions. So there's either update one or update uh, update many. Similar to how we saw in the previous video when we were inserting data, we had insert one or insert many. So these are not commands that I'm typing here. I just wanted to illustrate what exactly we have. So we can either update one document according to our conditions and change whatever we want to change, or we can update many. Now, update one usually updates the first document that the MongoDB um, filter encounters. So let's get started. Let's actually describe this. So we're going to use this function by doing this. So db.collectionName, the same way we used to do it with find and with insert, we have to specify the collection name. So update one. Okay, so two things would go in here between the parentheses. The first one is the filter condition. What this does is that it filters out the documents that I want to update. So I want to update the documents that have a warranty years of two. So every single document that has that warranty years of two, I want to update it and make the rating six because I think it's a very good warranty. That's just an example. So if we want to do that, we have to specify in the filter condition that we want warranty years to be two. And then in the actual update command, we have to say that we want to change rating to six. That's essentially it. So going ahead, let's try this. So we have to write the um, filter condition and the commands within document type 
uh, shapes, so we use curly braces. So we say warranty years is two. And then the second argument in this case is the actual command that we want to do. So there are different types of update functions. There are, I think, six of them. So one of them is the set. And set and unset are pretty much the most popular ones, as well as replace. Um, the others are not as pop popular. So we want to use set. It's also in a document, document format. And then what do we want to set? So here we're specifying that set is the operation that we're about to do. And what the operation will actually do is that it will set rating to 6. And then we close all the curly braces and the brackets, and we enter. So it says acknowledged true, matched count 1, modified count 1. So it updated 1, which is probably this one, because it's the first, one, first document with warranty years equals 2. Let's check if there is another. Um, Looks like there isn't. It doesn't matter because we're doing update one anyways. So if we so here the rating is five. So if we refresh, the rating is now six, and that's how we successfully completed our first update. So this is all you have to do. You have to just simply understand the difference between the actual filter condition. I want to update all documents that already have this. And then the actual setting or unsetting, the actual update operation that you want to be performing. Here's a question. Now, what if I say set and then I specify a field that doesn't exist, a field name that doesn't exist? So I want to update all the um, warranty years equals to, or maybe let's say, okay, yeah, warranty years is to, and I want to update their um, review field and we see here that there is no field that's called review we have rating but that's like not the same thing so what if i say set review to 10 what happens in this case so let's actually try it out so we can just copy the exact same uh, command because we have the same filter here we want warranty years is equal to 2 and we want to set review to 10 so we close and we enter so it says true, and it matched one, and it modified one. But how? So how did it do this if there is no review field? Well, let's refresh and check it out. So with MongoDB, if you attempt to set a, a value for a field that doesn't exist, the set command will create this field and then set this value. So even if this did not exist, so in theory, this was, you could say null because it was not there. So it went from being null to actually having a value of 10. And that's what we can see it now in Mongo Compass in the GUI. So that's for setting. So, and you can play around with it. So you can play around with set, you can combine different conditions. So you would have a filter, which has more than one condition. So how does that work? So let's check it out. So db.product.update1. And we have the filter document here. So the filter document, how are we going to state it? Let's say I want all, I want the documents that have color as black and rating as two. So this is the document I want, okay? So how do I tell MongoDB that I want this document? How do I specify two conditions? So I say color is black and comma rating is two. Okay, so this is essentially the same format as MongoDB documents in general. So you have these key value pairs separated by commas inside curly braces. It's essentially a document that we're putting as an argument for this update one function. So this is our filter. This is the document that we want. And what we want to do is that we want to set, let's say, warranty years to one. So we say set warranty years to one and we close and it says true we mo it matched one and it modified one so if we refresh warranty years is now one so that's how we manage to combine more than one condition and we can combine more than one operation as well so say i want to do the following so I want to set warranty years to three, let's say, so we can monitor the difference. And I want to do another, uh, so inside the same document. And 
I'm interested in another operation. I want to do another update. So I want to update um, available right here to true. So let's say available is true. And we do this in this document format. So like we said, this is a document at the end of the day. So it can be a series of key value pairs. And this document right here is the value for this key value pair where the key is set. And that's kind of how MongoDB works. So essentially everything is part of a document. So closing everything and uh, closing the parentheses, we enter and it says matched is one, modified is one. So it should have modified this. And so we refresh. Now warranty years is three and available is two. So this is how you have more than one condition. So like we said, we list more than one condition within a document for the filter part. And that's how you have more than one operation. So here we had two different things that we were setting. Now we can combine even more. So let's move on to the other types of functions that the update in MongoDB provides. And just a note, so update many is essentially the same thing. So the same syntax, same everything, except of writing, except writing one here should be replaced by writing many. And it's the same thing. It just differs by the count of things that you are doing. So let's check out other update functions. So now that we have discussed the set function where we were able to set certain fields to certain values the way we wanted it to for specific documents, we're going to now discuss the unset function. So we write it like this. What unset really does is that it removes a certain field from even existing within a document. So if I want to re remove this review right here, so the way that I do that is using the unset function. So db.products.update, let's say many because we want to review, uh, remove review in every single document. So because we have another one right here that I added manually. So if I do not want to filter any of the documents, I want to process all of them for this review field and remove it. I can do that by simply having an empty filter condition. So here, there are no conditions for the documents that we are going to process. So we're going to process all of them. And for all of them, we will check review and try to unset it. So we have put an empty condition. Next, we want to put the update and it's unset. So what we have to put here is a series of fields that we want to unset. So review and we want to set it as empty. And now we close and we close and we close the parentheses and we enter. So match count nine, what does this mean? We have a total of nine documents in the collection. This means that we were able to match all of them. This is the matching statement right here. So we matched all of them because we have no conditions and we modified two, meaning it's modified these two. So if we refresh, review has been removed. So that's how I was able to remove this field from every um, excuse me. So from every possible document in this collection. So this gives you an idea of how you can delete columns or fields, you could say, and how you can set certain fields for certain values using the update function. And through this tutorial, we learned how to use both update one and update many. So another and the final update um, function that I'm going to cover in this video will be the rename function. And what rename does, as you can probably guess, is that it renames the name of a field and not the value. So here, maybe instead of warranty years, I want to replace it with warranty. So I want to do that for all the documents. I'm sick of this very long name. I want to replace it. So db.products.update many. No condition because I want to apply it to all the documents. And I say rename. I open up and then I mention the field names that I want to rename as as well as the new name that I want. So warranty years, and I want to rename it to warranty simply. And then I close everything, enter. So match count nine, modified count five. So we have nine documents, probably five of them had warranty years. So yeah, this one does not have it. This one does not, this one does not. So we refresh and warranty years has been updated and renamed to be warranty. So that's the rename function for you. So now that we know these three functions and how to use them with update one and update many, we're going to move on to a new
type of updating uh, method and that would be using the replace one and replace many. So now we're going to see how exactly we can use those and how they differ from update. Okay, so the way essentially replace one and replace many work is that they match according to the filter that we provide in the first argument. So if we have db.product.replace one, so they will match according to this type of uh, condition right here. And then they will not just alter the different fields and the different data inside this document, they will replace the document, the document in its entirety. So it, we will change it to a whole new document. So let's say I want to replace one because I want to do too many damage. I want to replace only one document. And I want to replace the first document, this one right here, where price is 19. Price, not print, is 19. So this is my condition. And what I want to replace it with is this document. So I want name to be John. Okay, that's a person, not a product, but whatever. We want price to be um, 20. We want rating to be 5. And I don't want to fill in any of the other fields because it's MongoDB. So I just close it and I enter. So it says matched is one, modified is one. So now let's refresh. And as you can see here, John was name was renamed to John. We have like a whole new document. It's a whole new thing that replaced the older document. So that's how you replace a document. And using replace many, you can replace multiple documents with the same data, although it's not recommended because you wouldn't really want duplicates. So now that we've learned what we've learned throughout this video, stay tuned for the next video where I go even more in depth into updating MongoDB data because we will discuss how to update MongoDB arrays such as these. So we will be able to access different array elements, update them, sort them, slice them, um, push a certain element, pop a certain element. So these are all different update function that, functions that we will learn in the next video for this playlist. So please stay tuned, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're interested in that kind of video. And thank you very much for watching this video. Please like if you enjoyed it. And thanks again.